in that earliest time frame where I can give you a rough idea of what the forecast is looking like. And right now, by all indications, we look to have mostly clear skies, sunny weather, and comfortable temperatures for viewing the eclipse on Monday, April 8th, coming up in just a week. Of course, the forecast can change, and it likely will, but things are looking good for now. We'll keep you updated over the next few days. We do have clouds overhead right now. If we were trying to see an eclipse, this would not be good news, uh, but we aren't. Thank goodness. Uh, low 70s out there for most of us. Ashboro at 72, Reedsville at 70, Adkinville 70 as well. Even though we have the clouds, we're still warming up uh, pretty nicely this afternoon. For the mountains, we'll warm up about five more degrees or so to the mid 70s later on. Again, clouds are slowly clearing throughout the area, so I think a mix of sun and clouds likely for the rest of the afternoon and then dipping into the 60s up in the high country later on. A bit warmer for the foothills and Piedmont Triad, low 80s this afternoon. A mix of sun and clouds by about sunset and then into the 70s. So if you have some Monday evening plans out and about, Weather's looking good, a comfortable 70s for us. A high around 82 degrees this afternoon. Yesterday we were at 81, today a degree or two warmer. And this will be about as warm as we get during this uh, stretch of weather we have because rain chances are on the way. Those clouds moving in now back toward the mountains, starting to see some clearing, but uh, the more unsettled weather is well off to the west. Low pressure is beginning to develop across the plains. You can see that there near Kansas. Um, and so there is a risk for severe weather out in the plains and parts of the Midwest today. This is just newly added a level four moderate risk. This is four out of five for severe weather in Oklahoma later today. And as that system moves off to the east, we see that risk shift east for our Tuesday. Now, mainly centered over Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, but here part of that risk clips the mountains, foothills, and even parts of the triad. Just a level one risk for us. I don't think severe weather is a big concern, but certainly Tuesday evening through about Wednesday midday. One or two storms that move through could be strong with some gusty winds and heavy rain. They could pack a punch, but overall not expecting this to be a widespread thing. Most of our day Tuesday is dry, but this is 8 p.m. Tuesday evening. Likely we have those storms moving into the mountains and foothills from the west. A couple of these could be strong. And then from here, they continue moving eastward across the triad and through North Carolina through about Wednesday morning and a strong cold front moves through and really helps to clear things out by Wednesday afternoon. So our main time to watch for storms is Tuesday evening and then again Wednesday morning later on. Timing will be key as to how many storms we get, but overall I think the bigger story is the cool down coming behind this cold front. We're in the low 80s today and tomorrow by Thursday in the 50s. How about that? Back to reality there. Certainly a big swing in temperatures. We'll keep you updated on the storm chance overnight and then back in the 50s later this week. Chilly in the mornings with some frost possible Friday and Saturday.